Hey guys, welcome back to the channel once again, Kenroy here. Now if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a Jamaican hibiscus sorrel drink. This drink is world famous and it's often drank around Christmas time over your family meal. I'm going to be showing you the recipe that was taught to me by my mom and hopefully you'll enjoy it also. Now this world famous punchy spicy drink is fantastic for this time of the year as soon as the temperature starts to drop. Now a crucial ingredient in this recipe is ginger and this is fantastic for helping you to keep warm as well as fighting off some of those winter colds. Now the sorrel also known as hibiscus is a very famous plant in Jamaica. Now this time of the year around Christmas it's often used to make this iconic drink which we have loaded with ginger and all sorts of spices to your liking. Now if you were living in Jamaica at this time of the year around Christmas you'll probably be able to get your hand on some fresh sorrel straight from the farm but here in the UK we've got no such luck so we've had to buy the dry version from the shop. A lot of people don't actually realize that the sorrel or the hibiscus plant is actually really really healthy full of antioxidants which is fantastic to block against those free radicals that can cause things like heart disease and cancer so it's well worth having a drink around this time of the year. And the first thing we want to do is just to give this a good rinse to make sure that any unwanted nasties can actually be washed off. Now sorrel isn't sorrel without ginger in my opinion and so here you can see me prepping and getting three large pieces of ginger before hitting it on the grater in order to get it all nice and grated. Now I prefer to do it this way as we'll be able to get more flavour out of the ginger when we add it to the pot. The antioxidants also help to prevent things such as chronic conditions like cancer and other diseases such as heart disease. Next, find your biggest pot, half it with water and then start to add your ingredients. Now it's important to know that you need a big enough pot as we will be topping this up with water in order to maximize the amount of juice that we'll actually get from the sorrel. Now I like to make my sorrel rich so I always use as much hibiscus as I possibly can. Now the next step is to add some spice. Now pimentos is one of my favorite and I never make my sorrel without adding pimento. It really gives it a nice warm smell. Up next is my secret ingredient and not everyone likes to use this but I absolutely love to use cloves whenever I'm making my sorrel. It adds such a rich festive flavour which is quite subtle but when it's missing you'll definitely know about it. Last but not least I also like to add one sliced lemon just for a bit of extra tanginess and somehow this helps to knit all the flavours together. Now I often use my kettle to fill the pot all the way to the brim in order to make sure that I make as much juice as possible especially as we don't make this year round so I definitely know my neighbours and the rest of the family will come knocking for their bottle of sorrow so always make more than you think you'll need now this is a really really easy drink to make now once all the ingredients are in guys all you then have to do is just cover it up giving it an occasional stir and allow it to boil for around 20 minutes to half an hour depending on the size. Once the sorrel's finished boiling, all that will be left to do is just to leave it to stand overnight. This will make sure that all of the wonderful flavors will be infused and by the morning it will be cool enough for me to be able to sweeten it. Okay, so it's the morning and I've come down to have a look at the sorrel to see how it's done. And yeah, whoa amazing smell oh the smell is so incredible I can smell it in the whole kitchen <laughs> I mean this is really really rich I did use a lot of sorrel which like I said we like our sorrel really strong um, the more you put in there the more vitamins you actually get from the drink now the only challenge that you normally have when you make this much sorrel is that once you've made it you then need somewhere to store it I normally use multiple containers because that way you can give some away to friends and family, um, neighbours and so on and it's easier to store in the fridge rather than just one huge bottle. So in order to finish off the sorrel the next thing we need to do is to strain it off and then sweeten it with our cane sugar or whatever other types of sugar that you like to use. The 
sorrel is looking fantastic look at these colors i mean it's just incredible how rich and red this is and if only you could have a smell over the camera with all of these amazing spices combining now all that is left for me to do is drain it before sweetening it and then serving it to the family now it's important that you use a sieve when you're draining this in order to get rid of all of those tiny pieces that may be lying around now you may have your own way of sweetening it but I much prefer to use a traditional manner of using brown sugar rather than pouring the sugar straight into the mix which will take absolutely ages to mix and to get rid of all of those sugar granules here's a little tip for you guys why not pour the sugar into a mixing jug before adding a bit of warm water to help dissolve the sugar crystals a lot quicker this way when you pour it into the actual sorrel mix it will dissolve much quicker now a lot of folks use sorrel for its medicinal purposes like I mentioned before which means you may want to limit the amount of sugar that you use to sweeten it Okay guys, there you have it, the sorrow drink is done, bottled and waiting to be chilled and enjoyed. Cheers. That is so good. Now my family couldn't wait to come and sample it and it's absolutely delicious. Now the good thing about sorrel is that you can increase or decrease the ingredients. As for my family and I, this recipe is spot on, especially so that our children can also enjoy it. Yeah.